Local coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. When the Bolitnikoff Award watch list came out last week, Bluffton grad Dwayne Eskridge found his name right there on it. The award goes to the best receiver in college football at the end of the season, but catching passes is just half of what Dwayne will do at Western Michigan this fall. A senior, the former Highlight Zone regular, will also be playing cornerback for the Broncos. And while lots of guys play two ways in high school, doing it in college, especially at a D1 program, that is certainly rare. And while some may doubt he can do it, doubters don't know Dwayne. So these are some of the things coming from Bluffton, you know what I'm saying, with my family and things like that. It's just, it's just things that kept reoccurring and I just kept hearing before I got to college. So I made sure I wrote all those things down and just beat every single one of those things and be better than every single thing that I wrote down. Too small, kids from small school can't play D1, getting hurt too much and can't take hits. Uh, they said I should have ran track instead of play football. Just all the motivational tools I, I wrote in the day I got here and just taped it on my lock and it's been every since. I look at it every day. You see this every day? Every day. Too small, too soft, two ways. Yeah, after learning the cornerback position this spring, Dwayne Eskridge is looking to make an impact on both sides of the football for the Broncos this season. I mean, yeah, in the spring, they threw me in the fight the first, uh, the first day. I had to learn how to do certain things, and the worst one was going backwards. <laughs> like, I'm so used to running forward, speed forward, now I got to go backwards and then transition. So it's been, it's, been, it's been a process for sure, but I felt like I learned fast. That's not really a surprise because Dwayne does everything fast. That's going to be Dwayne Askrid. As a senior at Bluffton, he won both the 100 and 200 meter state titles and was named Indiana's Mr. Track and Field. I'm trying to make an immediate impact. Because of his success as a sprinter, football wasn't always at the forefront. Honestly, it wasn't something that I was really looking into. Like Brent Kunkel, the, uh, the track coach and football coach there, he literally had to tell me, he was like, you can play Division One football. And then it was like, it kind of messed with me because I was just saying, you know what I'm saying, taking some wrong paths, you know what I'm saying, I really focused my grades, getting in trouble and stuff like that. Let's go, baby! And then once he told me that, it kind of got me to thinking about like certain things that I want to do in life. And then he just got to mentor me, and then after that, it was just, I just started trying to outwork everybody, you know what I'm saying? be able to be where I'm at today, really. Like, when we walk out right here, it's, it seems like it d goes directly into game time. While he can't wait for Saturdays this fall, his ultimate goal is to play on Sundays. Since I haven't really put too much film of corner yet mm -hmm. on film, so there's been some, a couple of scouts that came down and watched a couple of spring practices, and they were impressed by it. But really, like a lot of people since I had last season are still looking at me as a receiver. And but the corner like is 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 coming like it, it's gonna it's gonna surprise a lot of people. The deep ball, the right Eskridge has got it. While there are still plenty of questions, the player known as D gets an A plus for one answer. Who's the fastest player in the Mid American Conference? Dwayne Eskridge. Nobody close. Yeah, Devontae Bellamy. We go head and head. But still, Dwayne, Dwayne Eskridge. Eskridge. <laughs> That's a pretty good answer. Congratulations, man. Thank you, sir. That does it for sports. We're back after this.